Already two down. Turn oh, let's, no. let's you haven't seen our underwear yet. Uh -oh. You never know. <laughs> Those are blue too. <laughs> He's Aquaman. <laughs> well, welcome to the Wish Bus. And are you guys? Is this your first time to the film festival, or what's what's the dealio? Uh, yeah. I, th I mean, certainly my first time. And anyone else been here my before? First time. Yeah, I think we. We're all newbies. First time. First time. <laughs> Thir Sydney? Third time to this theater, though, this month, but that's another Oh, one. okay. Right. Well, Sydney. Not my first time. Yeah. Yeah. Um, we knew that. What I would like to know is why you're bringing all these first times. Hey, they got to learn some way. <laughs> oh, I guess you need are. It, it, this is our first season. Okay. Uh, we're on History Channel. It is a uh, hour drama, scripted drama from Robert Zemeckis. Mm -hmm. This is our creator, David O'Leary. Um, it is based on an actual UFO, I'm sorry, Air Force program that studied UFOs in the 50s. Oh, okay. um, and we take real life cases. There were 12,000 cases of uh, sightings of UFOs, 700 of which were never identified. Um, and we have a dramatic uh, reenactment, would you say, sure. of the cases. Uh, we star Aiden Gillen. Okay. Um, what was his partner's name? I forget. I, what's, who is that? Yeah. This guy. Uh, <laughs> uh, 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 Michael Malarkey. Thank you. Michael Thank Malarkey. You. Uh, I know it's been a long ride. Uh, yes, exactly. Um, Michael Harney as well. Um, and we're Tuesday nights, 10 o'clock on History Channel. You can find us on iTunes. You can find us on Google Play. Um, I think we still, oh, I don't think we still have our first episode up on YouTube right now. But uh, you can pretty much find us everywhere. So that's true. Um, anyway, I guess the Roth Science Film Festival suits you guys perfectly. Do you guys, are you guys planning on sending in a video, I guess? We're actually doing For a the panel very shortly. Oh. Yeah, so we're going to have a little sneak peek of our next episode coming up Tuesday. Um, we are actually also the number one new scripted cable show on television right now. Congratulations. So we are building our audience um, and, you know, very excited to be here. This is, we all very much walk the walk in terms of the uh, science fiction genre. Um, all of us here are not only fans, but uh, believers uh, okay. in the UFO phenomenon as well, which is why I think we look as happy as we do. No, <laughs> I think we're a little, yeah. Okay. Are you sure it's not a little more than just science? Uh, I'm going to let David in. <laughs> well, I mean, I think here's what fans should know about the show is, is, is it's all rooted in real life UFO cases from the 1950s right. and 60s. So that's like something that I want to make sure that everybody knows that like, yes, we definitely uh, dramatize and, and play with all that kind of stuff, but it is rooted in real life cases that we explore every week. And uh, we are believers due to evidence. You know what I'm okay. saying? And uh, and I and I think, and I, I invite everybody listening out there to, you know, check the show out and, and keep an open mind and, and then do their own homework and looking at some of the cases we explore because, uh, they're, 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 you know, it's a fascinating uh, subject matter. So how detailed do these cases get? Because you did say that they're from the 50s, 60s. How detailed are those cases? Or do you guys... Oh, I mean, very detailed. I mean, we go back, we look at the real life Project Blue Book files. We go back, you know, you know we interviewed, you know, the authentic people who were really involved in, you know, in the project. Mm -hmm. uh, you know, I mean, we, we try to root it all as best we can in uh, in the in this in the science and in the in the history that was really there. It's, it's all based on the actual case files. So we we oh. take all the events that happened. Um, you know, I can say like the first few cases we have the uh, Fuller dog, or I'm sorry, the Gorman dog fight. We have the Lubbock Lights. Uh, Flatwoods we monster. have the Flatwoods monster. Coming up, we have um, the uh, 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 Operation Paperclip that happened uh, out in Alabama. So we take all the facts that are there, we dramatize them, um, and give you just enough information to go, oh my god, this really happened. You can go online afterwards or do the research and find out all about it, and then we dramatize it as well. 
a lot of people will be able to relate more seeing it actually acted out instead of just reading it out because some people don't have the whole yeah, yeah, well, let's, I think let's it's let a, our actors handle that. Well, one. No, I, I think I think it's a way to encourage more investigation of it, especially from from um, a broader um, crowd. You know, um, not everyone's going to sit through and, and read the declassified Project Blue Book files. In fact, few people are, except the people who are really invested already. Um, but this is a way to to encourage people to to think more openly about this. And I mean, I I went into this not. Not as a non-believer, but not as a like die-hard believer either. I just hadn't thought one way or another about it. And having done this research and seen all the things I've seen and witness interviews, um, NASA footage, NSA documents, you you can't help but you, you can't disregard it. It's like legitimately something that's been covered up since this time, and there have been things in our skies that are intelligent. So um, you know, that's where I'm from. Where I'm standing, that's that's my opinion, and I think people who do the research won't be able to help but feel similarly. IMO. Yeah. Well said, sir. Was it? <laughs> <What? Yeah. laughs> it was. Cool. Right and on. a little input, because we these are very uh, should I say youthful? Yeah. Should I be nice sure. like that? Yeah. Sure. <laughs> Kindness yeah. gets you along. Well. He, 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 he really I was going to say, how about for our that. youngest? He really appreciates it. No. How does it feel? <laughs> did you come, did you join the Project Blue Book as someone who was a believer already? Or did you have a little bit of your own, I don't know if this is actually a real thing. How did you join the Project Blue Book? I believe, I've been believing better part of 40 years um, so uh, it was not a stretch for me what was a great experience for me was going down the rabbit hole with uh, researching and watching a lot of footage and a lot of interviews and hearing people talk about their experiences with UFOs and extraterrestrials and uh, that was just a, an amazing uh, it was a deepening of what I already believed I don't have a question, but I've been learning a lot from you, gentlemen. Yeah. And I thank you guys for coming out here. Your team is actually saying we got to wrap it up. So, unfortunately, I would like to hear more. Sure. Me too. But, uh, but well, maybe we'll hear more up there. Going. I think what we'll, we'll say is we, we encourage audiences to check out the show. There's all kinds of research on history.com to support what we're talking about, which I encourage audiences to check out as well. So, uh, you know, tune in, check it out, and hopefully keep an open mind and, you know. It's also it's, it's a Robert, great ride. It's Robert Zemeckis, and yeah. it, the look is incredible. You know, yeah. he did Back to the Future, Contact, etc., cetera, etc., cetera, and um, it's a period drama piece and a noir thriller all wrapped up in a bow. It's really right. great TV. And you guys said this was on history. On history. All right. Yeah. This is Raw Science Film Festival for number five. Science. Celebrating the 50th anniversary of humans first setting foot on the moon. Well, for me, the key point to a film like uh, Interstellar is that they inspire people, particularly young people, about science. And I think that's the principal goal in my mind, it's inspiration. Literacy in, a, in our country, in the world, in terms of science and technology, I think has been on the wane, uh, unfortunately. Uh, there's a lot of efforts moving ahead, the STEM effort and the STEAM effort. My name is Charles Riley, also known as Little Buck. And, and uh, how did you end up at the Raw Science Film Festival? Oh, well, I defy gravity with my moves, so. Nice. So you're a dancer. <laughs> I'm a dancer, yes. I'm a dancer movement artist. Well, I'm a big believer in science and technology in general. So a film festival that celebrates these type of work, I think is essential for us to advance our body of knowledge, because that's what science is. It's trying to probe into the dark and figure out what's there. We don't just sit in our valley. We climb over the mountain and go and see what's on the other side. The festival is run by an amazing woman called Kerry Kukrell. Possibly the only time that a ballerina has become a research scientist. The ultimate goal that we seek is to keep science elevated at the highest platforms in our culture. One of those highest platforms is the Academy Awards. We are here now and we're going to elevate science in our culture on that platform. <laughs> Thank you. 
find us on social media. All right, thank you. See ya.